Hey y'all, so today's video is all about affordable packaging for your hair company. I am inside of a Dollar Tree pretty much to let you guys see some affordable things that you can find. The first thing I like to use are thank you cards. I love to find the ones that have a blank inside. That way I can personalize the note for my customer. The second thing that I love to get is tissue paper. Me, my hair company, I love to use pink tissue paper, but I don't see it here. So I'm going to go and get the plain white kind with glitter all over it because it's super cute. And that's the kind that I really like to get. Also, I'm not getting these today, but they have these cute gift boxes. You can definitely fit a few bundles in these boxes. They come three to a pack and they're only a dollar. All you have to do is just get like a sticker logos and put your sticker logo right on top of the box and it'll be super cute. Last but not least, the Dollar Tree have these two for one pack padded envelopes that way if you would like to ship out your packages in those you can definitely ship them hey y'all so as you can see from the title i'm about to show y'all how to package your hair and make it super duper pretty at affordable prices okay so i went to the dollar tree and i showed you guys the things that you could pick up so that you can package your hair very pretty that way your customers will be excited when they receive their packages and it just looks very professional and clean. So right here is um, the hair that we're gonna use for demonstration purposes. So we're gonna start off with the tissue paper. This is the tissue paper I use for my company. I will suggest that you find a color that matches your company's um, brand, your logo, whatever color you have or theme you have for your company, try to stick within that range. I could not find tissue paper, a pack of tissue paper that was pink because that's kind of like my company's logo. So I like to use this sparkly paper. It's really cute and fun. The only thing about the sparkly paper, you don't want to lay the hair directly on the sparkles because you don't want that glitter to get in the hair. It's hard to get glitter out of hair. So if you're going to use glitter paper like me, you need to put the hair back into the packaging. All right, so I put the hair back into the plastic packaging. That way the glitter does not get on the hair. And now I'm going to use what I've learned from a previous job. See, your previous jobs always come in handy. I am about to wrap up this bundle like it is a Subway sandwich. Yes, you guys. My first job was at Subway. Y'all, I make the best subs. So what I'm going to do, because sometimes the bundles can be too long. And I mean, I really do hate doing it, but sometimes you just have to do it. You have to fold the bundle over. It's only going to be folded for, what, two to three days if you use priority mail shipping. So it's not going to leave an indent in the hair. And now I'm just going to wrap it up as if it was a Subway sandwich. All right, if I have more bundles, I will wrap them all up the same way. Now what I'm gonna do, now that I have this wrapped up like that, I'm gonna take my logo, well, my business cards. I like to add my business card to every package. These are business cards that you can get from Vista Print. I think you can get 500 for like $10. You guys, Vistaprint is your best friend. Also, I have this cute little flyer that I also made on Vistaprint. Very affordable and cheap. These are just like my hair care instructions. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place it right there on top of that. Or if you want to get super duper, <laughs> if you want to get cool points with your customer, always include a thank you card and leave a personal message. I didn't write in this card because, like I said, this is just for demonstrational purposes, but you can leave like a nice little thank you message, like thank you so much for believing it in my vision and my business, thank you for supporting me, and write like your customer's name or you know do your signature, and you could just place these cards on the inside as well. 
or you can use like a, a discount code or any type of promo code. You can write it here for your customers and really just tie that in and if you had like some tool or a cute satin bow you can just like tie a bow right around here and put a cute little bow on top and then i like to use a priority mail flat rate padded envelope these are completely free they will you can order them online through the usps website and they'll send like a, however many packages you want they'll send them out to you and all you gotta do is just put that right on the inside you know seal it off and ship it out or i also like to use the priority mail boxes that they have and with the box you can put a piece of tissue paper inside of the box let's see So you can put a piece of tissue paper inside of the box like that. You can put your bundle of hair right on the inside at the top. You can have like the thank you card, your business card, and package it on up. And voila, you're done. So this is just like a really affordable way to package your hair make it look really professional and polished make it look like you are a real company and you care about your packaging and how your customers are going to receive their hair this is great to do while you're just still trying to save up money so that you can invest more into your company of course later down the road you can always invest in custom packaging like I said, you can find a vendor for custom packaging, like for custom satin bags, boxes, um, logos, tags, hair labels, all of that stuff. You can find a vendor on Alibaba. Also, you guys, I do that as well. I do offer those services. I have a really great vendor and you can access them through me. I only make a profit between 10 to $25 per order. So I'm not being greedy. I'm not charging you two times, three times the amount to get it done. If you trust me, you can definitely go through me and get these things. Um, these are a few examples of the bags that I have. These are a few examples of the bags I have made for um, two of my previous clients. 